Hi everyone, I wanna say thank you for all the great comments and feedback for each video that I have uploaded to this channel. I am doing my very best to respond to all of your comments and will be catching up soon. Now with that said, all right, math legends, let's see if you can solve this math problem before I do. If you got the answer, let me know in the comment section down below and also subscribe to get more challenges like this one. Three plus seven divided by five divided by two. The first thing I do is analyze the problem, knowing that I'm adding and, and dividing. So I'm thinking of PEMDAS working from left to right according to its levels. Three plus seven will not go first because division is a higher level than addition. So seven divided by five will go first. And I want to write seven divided by five in a fraction form to make the math easy. Then bring down the division symbol down, the two down, the three down, and the addition symbol down. And I wanna turn the three into a fraction to make the math easy. 3 over 1 equals 3 does not change to 3, and 2 over 1, which equals 2, does not change to 2. So now we have 3 over 1 plus 7 over 5 divided by 2 over 1. Now, reading from left to right, addition will not go first. Division will. So we're going to use the keep change flip method to solve seven over five divided by two over one. So we're gonna keep seven over five, then change the division symbol to multiplication, and then we're gonna flip this fraction. So the one will go on top of the fraction and two will go at the bottom of the fraction. So it'll be written like this, one over two. And next you multiply across, seven times one is seven, five times two is 10. And now we have seven over 10. Now we'll bring down the 3 over 1 down, the addition symbol down, and then write 7 over 10. And now we have two unlike fractions, and I call them unlike fractions because the denominators are different. So we need to find the common denominator, which is the product of the denominators. So you multiply 1 times 10 gives you 10. So that is our common denominator. And then we need to find the new uh, numerator for the first fraction. So you cross multiply three times 10, and that gives you 30. And I run, at, I run out of room here. I run out of room, so I need to write it. I'm gonna write it here. Let me just write it here. So three times 10 is 30 over 10, because that is our new denominator, plus then we cross multiply seven times one is seven, and it's over 10. And then we just add across. So 30 plus seven is 37 over, we keep the 10 the same. So our answer is 37 over 10. This cannot be simplified further. So this is it. 37 over 10 is your answer. We can turn this into a mixed number because it is a improper fraction and we can get a decimal answer as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So using long division, 37 is the dividend. The 10 is the divisor. So now how many times can 10 fit into 37? Three times and three times 10 is 30, and 37 minus 30 is 7. So now we have the whole number as 3, and then 7 will be the remainder, and that will be on top of the fraction here, and then 10, we keep the 10 as the denominator. So our mixed answer or mixed number answer is 3, 7 over 10, and let's continue the division to get our decimal answer. So how many times can 10 fit into seven? You cannot, so we need to borrow a zero. So I'm gonna add a decimal after the 37 and the three atop, on top of the uh, long division symbol, and then bring down the zero down, give it to the seven. Now seven becomes 70. So how many times can 10 fit into 70? Seven times. 
So I write the seven above the long division symbol and seven times 10 is 70 and 70 minus 70 is zero. So your decimal answer, and I don't have room here, so I'll just write it here. Your decimal answer will be 3.7. And that is your decimal answer. And there you go.